Hi guys and welcome to another episode on Sailing for Telfer. This week we're at the southern end of the Telos Islands at a surf spot called Monkeys. Yeah, we anchored up in a beautiful little bay with a break right next to us and we had some epic waves. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat travelling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Wasn't all to ourselves though. There was a surf guide that was uh, looking after the resort there, uh, Monkey's Surf Resort. Yeah, Brett, he was a pretty good surfer and he was pretty good to have around his company too. So you can see us all ripping it up. We felt extremely lucky to be surfing these waves with no one else around. In normal times, these waves would have resort guests and charter boat guests out here with us. Show me where the ending goes, honest, honestly don't, I should be the last to know. What happened out there today, sweetheart? I got smashed. <laughs> I got the, one of the sets on the head and uh, pushed me down under and I got wailed. Stop showing your ass. It's all scratched <laughs> up, darling. Oh, yeah, it was pretty gnarly. I'd hold my breath for a long time. She got held under two sets in a row. Our days here pretty much involve surfing for hours and eating and drinking coconuts. The best coconuts to drink are the young green ones. Once they get a little bit more mature and become yellow, they have more flesh. You can still drink these and we think they're a little bit more fizzy. The brown or really mature coconuts are best for eating and using the flesh. The water in these have a different taste, but it's still delicious. I was also lucky enough to celebrate my birthday here and it was a wet and wild day, but we had some epic waves. The sun eventually came out and I had the most incredible day surfing with my family.
Days like this are what I dream of. Surfing all day till you can't move and chocolate cake for dinner. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to mama. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Okay, daddy's filming, I'm gonna take a photo. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna get my wish. What did you wish for, darling? Um, I can't tell you. Um, excuse me. I said I'm gonna get a photo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I touched the bottom. Touch the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys. So we weren't the only ones in the anchorage. There was another boat there. Anyway, just when you think you know a little bit about coconuts. This guy is like an encyclopedia on coconuts. Yeah, we learnt so much from him. He told us everything about coconuts. We eat a lot of coconuts and drink a lot of coconuts, but he um, Took gave it to us, another level. He did, and he also, for my birthday, gave us um, an awesome little tool that helps to be able to grate the coconut, fresh coconut, and make fresh coconut milk, and other things. It was absolutely unreal. So we're gonna show you today how to make fresh coconut milk. The best coconuts are the mature brown coconuts like these. They have the firmer meat inside, perfect to make milk with. For us to store them on the boat, we take off the outside layer. Thanks to Brett from Monkey's Resort for the coconuts and letting us use your spike. Getting into it. Oh. Look at that big man go. Those arms. Yeah, baby. It's not as easy as it looks. It takes some muscle power to rip these bad boys open, but lucky for us, the captain is built to rip these coconuts apart with his bare hands. Look at that. Woo! So this is the first process of making some coconut milk. Crack open your coconuts. This cool little contraption was a gift from Kadari on my birthday um, from the crew on Island Time. How you make coconut milk. You can put that in, I mean, this is how you just easily shred some coconut, fresh coconut. It's such a beautiful tool, and he, uh, he takes these to the islands and gives them to villages and yeah, a really cool family. And he is just, our friends call him Coconut Dundee. He knows everything about coconuts. Thank you so much, Kadari. We love it so much and we couldn't be more grateful. So he's just finished um, that one coconut. So this, this is one coconut. It's a fair bit, this is quite a big bowl. I don't know how to scale it for you. But there is lots of coconuts. You then place your coconut and water in a blender. For creamier milk, add less water. Then you place it in a cloth or a bag and squeeze out the milk. It's just like milking a cow, but not so gross. Squeeze out all the milk and that's it. You'll be left with some dried coconut in the cloth. Don't throw away what's left in the bag. You can use it in baking or making muesli or add it to your smoothies. That is fresh coconut milk. It's so nice, it's so delicious. So much better than the tinned or the packaged coconut milk. It's like just next level, it's so delicious. Do yourself a favour, get some coconuts and make your own coconut milk. It is amazing and so much better for you. So living on a boat, we like to live an active lifestyle and try and be healthy. 
Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time, guys. <laughs> Got to have balance. <laughs> but while we're up in the northern parts of Sumatra, we met an awesome couple, Anna from Pulse. Um, the boat that they were on showed or gave us some Jammu juice and she told us how to make it and we've started making it and we drink it every day before we go surfing. Thought we'd share with you guys how you make it. Um, it's really simple and it's really, really good for you. And uh, there it is, making Jammu juice. It's turmeric, fresh turmeric root, ginger and some water all blended up. Then I add some lime juice and black pepper and a little bit of honey. Uh, roughly I use half a amount of ginger, half a amount of turmeric, two cups of water, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Black pepper? Weird, I know. But apparently black pepper activates the turmeric. Blend it all up and then after add some juice, either from a lemon or a lime, and one teaspoon of honey. But you can adjust to suit your tastes. So it's super pulpy after you blend it all up. to have yellow hands after you do this and also whatever cloth you're using or bag it's going to be orange and yellow afterwards jamu juice is an indonesian traditional anti-inflammatory elixir and then spray some lime Drop some seeds. Yeah, we put a little bit of honey in there and put it in a bottle. And you water it down um, so that's quite concentrated. You can make. So, uh, this is our jammu juice. It's really good for you and it's a great way to start the day. Cheers, guys. Just having a morning jammu. Let's sort you out before I surf. Everyone could be so Pretty cool episode, I thought. It's a freaking ripper, darling. <laughs> it's a great episode. If you agree with us, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And to subscribe. Okay. All right, guys. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, and you'll know when the videos are up. They will. Well, actually, they won't. What they have to do is press the little bell notification. If you press the bell notification, then you'll know when the new videos come up. Alright guys, hit the bells. Until next time. A little bit closer. No. What was that? A dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> the sun is going down. Okay. We're losing light. Okay. I'll, I'll do this. Let's get our shit together. You just, you just follow my lead. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, ready. We got this. No, nah, don't like it. <laughs> Go start. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm flashing. <laughs>
with it. Have we summed it up? I don't think so. Not very well. <laughs> okay. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Okay. There's still people sitting there watching. They're still watching it, honey. No. They're waiting for you to perform. <laughs> it's relaxed on now. And we'll be here next time you come back. Still sitting there. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys, we love you!